back to this episode of Small Project Alert. I am in the fabric room because I am prepping my mannequin for my new dress. So this dress is really gorgeous. I did something similar in orangey peachy tones maybe two years ago. I'll find the video, put it about right here. But this dress is gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me let you get into it. That little hair that was right there, that little lock. <laughs> Adorable. Anyway, let me show you this dress. So it is so pretty. I got to elongate all of these lines in the coordinating colors, which is orange. and I think that's rose gold. So this is an alteration. It came back. I believe the lady gained a little bit of weight. So we opened the bottom, added some feathers, and I need to fade all of these lines back down. That is what I'm tasked to do. And I just took off one of these feathers. <laughs> Let me put it back. There we go. So that means that she hasn't even sewn the feathers on. It's just in there intact. Okay, good. That way I can move it around when I need to stone the bottom. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It has the tag on it. Let's see what it's retailing for. 6'4", black and gold feather skirt. You can get it if you want it. Or a replica. Something like it. It's really cute though so let me get into that so i can be done with this small project alert and get to my next dress which is a beautiful navy blue i'm gonna use an indiglo blue to sprinkle it oh, i can't wait for you to see it so the first thing we're gonna do is take some time to really map out how we want our lines to go because as you can see they're going on a body and the lines are already in a slanted kind of swirl pattern going down toward the mid of the torso and under the feathers so I'm taking some time just to play with some chalk and make sure that I get everything where it needs to be because we don't want these lines looking wonky in the end we want them to be very symmetrical left to right because that's how they are already on the bust so I'm gonna chalk these lines out and then we're gonna go into some stones I just found out that this is gonna be one of my first conversion dresses where if a customer trades a dress in or one of our old dresses that need some new pizzazz gets a new life so this is how I'm extending the lines I think it looks really good just gonna keep it really light because it's already nice and heavy on the bodice and you want to lighten up once you get to the skirt so this is what I'm about to get into after I clean off all of this glue that is a task in itself <laughs> oh my gosh getting all this glue off it's gonna take forever let me show you so I got just this little half done and I'm still working my way around I got glue all over my dress Lord. <laughs> right, so for the most part I got all the glue off as well as I could anything left I'll make sure to put a stone right on top of it but that's as good as it gets now let's exaggerate these lines so this small project is done i extended the lines down into the feathers and it looks like there was no alteration done to it at all it's gorgeous 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 can you tell the separation i can't it looks so good I love it, this rose gold is just gorgeous to me. So, thanks for watching this episode of Small Project Alert. See you in the next one.